Well, there might not be any snow on the ground, but baby, it's cold outside. Am I even allowed to say that anymore? Cannabis and sex is nothing new. Our ancient ancestors were using it for millennia. In India, it was used as far back as the 7th century. Its use for sexual health was documented in Chinese texts, amongst dramatic tribes, and by many African cultures. Maybe it's high time that the Western world gets into bed with it as well. I went to visit Antoinette Gomez, creator of Pleasure Peaks Cantalubing. She's also an international speaker on tantric sex and sexual health with cannabis. When I started to learn Tantra with my partner many years ago, I was surprised that cannabis was all under transcripts. And we found that cannabis was an aphrodisiac used in India for many, many years in their tantric rituals. That's something that I'm trying to bring into the modern world. Cannabis can be used in a variety of ways to help with sexual lives. For some people, it's a matter of managing anxiety and the whole nervousness about, am I doing it right? Am I taking too long? Do I taste good? Do I look good? Um, is my erection gonna hold? All of those things that get in the way of us feeling pleasure, it can help with that. For some people, it can help focus us and be more present in the moment. Uh, for others, it's about a reduction in pain, and it's hard to feel pleasure when you are in pain. We found a um, woman with endometriosis finally able to have sex again. We have noticed that they were able to have an optimal sex life again with their partner. They have found a new light in their intimacy. more studies come out that show the medical evidence um, and the scientific facts about how it helps and in what ways and which strains help in which kinds of ways, I think we're going to have a more broad range of folks who are interested in applying it to their own lives. From what I've seen and from the people I've talked to, the people who are interested in cannabis and sex tend to skew a little bit younger, and I think that's just more of a comfort with it. If there was a cannabis-infused product that would enhance my sexual pleasure, I'd take it. I already smoke weed, so I feel that if it's gonna help with some other stuff, why not? If there was a cannabis product that would enhance my sexual pleasure in bed, I would take it. Because who doesn't like pleasure? <laughs> What I love about cannabis as an aphrodisiac is a very spiritual space as well. Um, so you do feel a lot more intimate in that sense. Um, the THC is also known to heighten sensitivity, so you're way more closer with touch. And to share that with a partner is definitely more powerful when achieving orgasm too. Other than smoking before you get with your partner or yourself, what are some other ways of reaching that ultimate cannabis climax? We have cannabis CBD infused massage candles that you can massage into your partner. We have edibles that are genital safe as well that you can eat off your partner. We have um, CBD sprays to get you more in your body. And I think the, all, that full spectrum approach is perfect to have an optimal sex life. I would just suggest that people do their own research and how it affects one person is gonna affect somebody else differently. So don't just try it and say, oh, well, it doesn't work for me. Try in small doses, um, try different strains, try different types, talk to people who are really knowledgeable about it um, and figure out what works for you. Well, it seems as though cannabis infused products for sexual experiences is on the rise. But one question still remains. Did you enjoy this segment as much as I did? For Modest Letter Live, I'm Sean Cookson.